Welcome to the Pachera Talks channel and today in SC100 series we are going to talk about securing applications with zero trust. Yes, this is the uh, another video where we are trying to secure all the elements that we talked about in our just to refresh the memory because of Diwali we were uh, not creating any videos and there was a gap by the way happy Diwali to everyone so what I was talking about is this if you remember we did talk about all the pillars or the elements which we need to secure to apply the zero trust in our environment we did cover couple of these and uh, identity and endpoints and today we are going to talk about application so in this video we are going to secure applications with zero trust and to make it simple we need to ask this question how can we apply zero trust on applications well we know I have to refresh the memory. So that's the reason I'm again stating these, these principles. We know zero trust is based on verify explicitly, least privilege and assume breach. These are the core principles of zero trust and our approach is based on these principles, which simply means we need to gain visibility first we need to see we need to have all the information what is happening inside our environment specifically in our applications who are accessing what they are accessing from where they are accessing are they accessing from the compliant devices all kind of information so visibility into the activities and data in our applications and how can we do that well of course we need to use some tools or we we, we can connect through apis integrations to fetch all that information so we should adopt microsoft defender for cloud apps to get the visibility governance action and usage that is our tool to gain the visibility for zero trust approach in our applications. Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps. We could also utilize Defender for Cloud Apps API integration and get deeper visibility to investigate activities, files, and accounts for the applications in cloud environment. So this is what we need to do. That is our first objective. If we are applying zero trust to secure application, which is gain the visibility and we can gain the visibility with the help of tools, which is Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps in this scenario. Now, the second objective is we should know if there is any shadow IT running, which is always, always you'll find one or maybe many, <laughs> right? So if you're wondering what is shadow IT, shadow IT is something which is there uh, to help your employees, or I would not say to help your employees, your employees are utilizing that shadow IT to make their work uh, easier, convenient, rather going through the right way, but on the cost of security, and we don't want that. Employees use non-sanctioned applications that no one has reviewed and that may not be compliant with your security and compliance policies. If they are using such applications or such devices on which certain kind of applications are running, which are not compliant, then of course we need to know that. We want to discover that. We want to control the use of shadow IT. And because our employees are able to access uh, resources and applications from outside corporate network, it's no longer enough to have rules and policies on, on firewalls. We need to know from where the request is coming. So 
discover and identify shadow IT to find out what apps are being used, whether they are uh, sanctioned or not, we can simply uh, integrate with Microsoft Defender for endpoint to immediately start collecting data on cloud traffic across your Windows 10 devices on and off your network. Because that's the only way we could know what is happening once we have all the data. We can also deploy the Defender for cloud apps log collector on your firewalls and proxies to collect data from your endpoints and send it to Defender for cloud apps for analysis. With the help of this data, which is coming in and out of that particular device, your proxies, your firewalls, we can have a great amount of detail in our environment and we can easily discover the shadow IT and also control it. That we need to do in order to approach the zero trust. And once we have that information, we have we have gained the visibility, we, we have we've discovered the shadow ID, we are controlling the shadow ID. Now the objective is protecting sensitive information and activities automatically with the help of policies. Yes. Defender for cloud apps enables you to define the way we want users to behave in the cloud. This can be done by creating policies, and that's our objective. There are many types of policies like access, activity, anomaly detection, app discovery, file policy, cloud discovery, uh, session policies that we should implement to protect our sensitive information and activities. Policies allows allow you to detect risky behavior, violations, or suspicious data points and activities in, in your cloud environment. They help you monitor trends, see security threats, and generate customized report and alerts, which is very, very uh, important for us to implement zero trust. We are not only getting gaining the visibility, we are not only finding what is happening in our environment, but we are also controlling it with the help of these policies. And once policies are in place, these, these are our initial objectives. Now we, we can further go deeper in zero trust and deploy adaptive access and session controls for all applications. That's our fourth objective. Dynamically adapting and restricting access as session risk changes will enable us to stop breaches and, and leaks in real time before employees put our data and organization at risk. So what can we do? Well, we definitely need to know what is happening. We need to monitor and control, of course. So we can enable real-time monitoring and control over access to any web app, uh, users, location, devices, and uh, applications with the help of Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps conditional access. For example, you can create policies to protect downloads of sensitive content with sensitive labels when using any unmanaged device. Alternatively, files can be scanned on upload to detect potential malware and block them from entering sensitive cloud environment. With the help of these, uh, we have our adaptive access and session controls for all the applications. And now it's time to strengthen protection against cyber threats and rogue apps. Again, we need to take the advantage of cloud uh, apps, Defender for Cloud Apps, user and entity behavioral analytics. In our 
adaptive axis, we were utilizing the real-time monitoring and control. And here we are utilizing user and entity behavioral analytics and machine learning capabilities that are automatically enabled out of the box to immediately detect threats and run advanced threat detection across your cloud environment. We can tune and scope anomaly detection policies as well. So for till now, if you see the tools that we talk about at the very beginning, it's the same tool which has multiple capabilities, awesome features that we are utilizing to achieve these objectives. And finally, we need to assess the security posture of our cloud environment. And Defender for Cloud Apps enables our organization to assess and strengthen our security posture and capabilities for these services by getting visibility into the security configuration, compliance status across uh, public cloud platforms. With accomplishing these objectives, we can secure our application with zero trust. So if I have to summarize this uh, securing application with zero trust approach, it's, it's very simple. The tool that we are going to use is Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps. And of course, for an endpoint to get the visibility, get the logs data. And there are multiple features that is provided by Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps that we need to utilize to gain visibility, find shadow IT and protect our uh, sensitive information and control the sessions and protecting from the cyber threat. With this, let's close this uh, session and let's meet in another one, which will be more interesting. And take care. Goodbye.